Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell as well. So for today's video, I wanted to share to you guys how did I install the snap camera extension on my OBS that made it work for me. I know some people tried it and it didn't work, but I thought it would be great to share to you guys how it worked for me and how I was able to use this extension. So if you guys are interested in this video, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get right into the video. Let's dive right into it. So first off, you would need to go to your creator dashboard and go into the extension. So here I am in my creator's dashboard under the extension tab. We have the discovery and in all the search all extension, I would search for snap camera. So I would then have to install it. I already have it on my computer, so this is why it's grayed out. But once you install it, it will look like this. So now you would go into my extensions and you have it here. I put it as a component two. And then once you click on it, you would see this configured button. You would click that and you would just need to follow the steps one, two, and three. So the first step is to definitely, you know, download the snap camera. So you have this nice big yellow button. I would click on that, click on the other yellow button and we have the download. You would have to read instructions, write your email, etc., And then you would download it. So next, once you did have it all downloaded, you would have, you know, the little icon on your desktop. So once you open it up, um, sometimes it won't be recognized, but here I have myself recognized because my camera is hooked up. So if you need to change it and you don't see your camera, I would suggest you go into the setting icon right here on the side. So let me just, you know, zoom in a little bit for you guys. Like this. So I would click on this icon. So here you would choose your camera. You see I have a selective um, two options. I will click the one that I'm using right now, currently on as well. So here we have the resolution. Make sure you have the right resolution so it doesn't have any like mismatch. So these are my settings that I did. I put it um, based on my headset that I'm talking through, run camera as a system startup. I have, I do flip view, so I make sure that when I look at the camera, it's like mirrored into my thing. So it's easier for me to not get confused. So let's say where I'm pointing, you know? So if I'm pointing this way, I would know is this way or that way. And I also have a few hotkeys to turn on and off the filters and the trigger lens effect as well. So this is my settings. So if I were to go back and you can also connect it to Twitch as well. There's an icon right beside the setting. You will click it, it will sign in and then you can have it for your subscription lenses. This one I have, for some reason, it's not really working. So this one I would actually definitely need to, you know, look into more. I was planning to email the help support for that. So that might be in another video if I get it to work. So for the basics, it's very easy. You would just have to click like any of these filters that they have and then you can save it into your favorites as well. So let's just say, you know, um, I really like something like let's try this one. So this one is a cute little, you know, tiger one. So if I do like it, I would press on this little, you know, star button at the corner of it and it goes right into my favorites. So you see it just went there. So I actually don't really like that one too much. So I'm gonna unfavorite it. So you can also, you know, categorize it in a different key, hot key. So if you click on this, you can, you know, customize all of your hotkeys. So, you know, I try to remember which one I like in the order first. So then I would remember when I'm on stream, I just, you know, do it. So it's control num one, two or three, etc. So I have that all set up. So now the tricky part is to put it on OBS. So, so let me show you guys how my OBS looks like. So the first thing that I want to mention to you guys is that if you do have a video capture device already in your source, please remove it. Like just delete it. You don't need it because you're going to be creating a new source. Um, 
if you do have two camera swords of the same camera it will clash each other i've been through it and i thought something was wrong it was really rare that one of them worked and the other didn't so i suggest you highly suggest you guys to remove all video camera devices that you have already on your source so here you see that i already have one but this is actually my snap camera i relabeled it so i can show you guys step by step on how to do it so this is the exact same um, snap camera source that i'm gonna re-add but a number two just to show you guys how it works all right so ignore this one and remove all video capture devices that you already have in your source for all of your scenes so first up i would have to use the add button and you add your video capture device i would name it snap cam so it's easy to remember that is your snapchat snap camera app so then you would click ok and then you would have all of your devices and make sure you click on snap camera so now that you have the snap camera you would just have to click ok so let me just move that um, to the bottom and this is how it looks like so that is it guys it's super easy to do uh, just make sure you guys don't have like the other video capture devices on delete it and start from scratch kind of thing to have this new snap cam um, source so pretty much that's it guys and i think it's very easy to play with i feel like it's super fun and interactive so for me i don't know about you guys there's so many tons of snapchat filters that you can pick from sorry for like the doubleness but <laughs> let me just switch my screen for you guys but yeah so it's super easy and fun and you know it's very interactive with your viewers as well so pretty much let's say someone comes into my stream and raids me and gives me a subscription as well i have this super fun you know party mode so it just appears like this and you know i'd be like oh thank you so much for the subscription or the raid thank you for you know the support and whatnot so there's a lot of really cool fun ones there's you know there's this you know really cool you know what is it a uh, unicorn that you can toggle all the colors there's also some cute you know cat there's this one is really funny guys um you know this these are the ones that i pick for my viewers to select and use my channel points i think it's super hilarious this one is one of my favorites i feel is you know wiggy wiggy <laughs> so i really enjoy like all of these snapchats um filters there's also the square head one you know i play a lot of minecraft recently so this is how i feel when i feel kind of derpy so there's a lot of really cool ones and you know rainbow ones that people like to enjoy using and very interactive so you know i hope it works for you guys and let me know if you have any questions what's not working for you i'll definitely try to help you guys out but so far the biggest problem for me was having the two camera source in your sources that affects you know um snapchat not working so i hope this tutorial was useful for you guys so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you can definitely visit me on twitch as well all the link is below in my panels and yeah don't forget to, to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye